Okay, so time for another quick dude's views regarding Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. Um, <clears throat> I did a did a report a while ago about their brake issues earlier in the year, which um, ultimately were fixed by pretty much a complete reworking of their brakes. Um, well, the whole story has never came out on that. Well, today apparently on August 10th, somewhere around 1 2 in the afternoon, there was another brake, really failure, I must call it. Um, apparently, with the information that's out now, uh, the train was coming into the station into one of the pre station block brakes. I have to assume the first one because that's the one that takes the most force. And uh, <clears throat> people heard a very loud um, bang noise. And then someone saw both a tire and a piece of metal with wires on it fall to the ground from one of the brake runs. Um, this is extremely unusual. I've never heard of something like this happening. Um, I mean, this is just a another pretty big black eye for RMC on this coaster. Um, so essentially, a, you know, your brake run, your block brakes have uh, your metal... Uh, fin calipers that squeeze together uh, on the fins on the bottom of the roller coaster to bring them to a stop. Then those uh, calipers open by uh, pneumatically, and uh, then there's a pneumatic tire, you know, just like a tire on your car. You know, I'm sure you see them on the track when you go over them, and that is then um, energized to then use the friction of the rubber on the bottom of the roller coaster to drive the train out of the block brake. Um, so it, you know, it's been used for many, many, many decades, um, and I've never heard of anything like this happening. Um, now I, there are reports that one of the fins is bent also, which would almost mean that, uh, you know, it, I, you know, the, the tire should not have been engaged in the train when it came in. So I'm wondering if something happened where the coaster came in, the fin on the bottom of the coaster hit the calipers, tore it off of the its bolts, and then bashed that into the tire and tore that off too. Um, no reports of injuries, um, but if something like that did happen, which really sounds like, you know, like say, I say, the tire shouldn't have been there, and even if the tire was there, it you know it's on an axis and, and is designed to, to roll, so it shouldn't have been torn off. So that's sort of my guess on what happened. Um, if you're going to Cedar Point anytime this weekend, uh, I would have to guess there's no steel fins this weekend. I know last time they turned it around really fast, but they did that by only running um, one train. They could perhaps just uh remove this entire brake run and continue running but with a failure like that that could happen at another brake run um that would just be sort of you know moving the danger down one brake so um, my guess is that it's not going to operate this weekend but we will see uh, cedar point clearly knows the importance of steel vengeance running for their paying customers this summer so um you know, if anything else comes out on this, I may do another video, but that's pretty much uh, what happened and what to expect if you're going up to Sandusky this weekend. So, uh, again, you know, always try to subscribe to the channel, um, wherever it is, and, uh, you know, I try to post these for any big roller coaster happenings, but I got plenty of dark rides and Halloween Horror Night videos and Not Scary Farm videos out there for... The upcoming Halloween season, a lot of videos that uh, I don't think believe anybody else has except for me, including uh, the very first year of the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, layover for the or overlay for the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. I was part of the 200-person group uh, that got to ride through it with our names up in the attic and everything. I got a video of all that, all the stage show, the special dinner we had at the Blue Bayou. So check all that out. And I will see you guys later.